Welcome back to the YouTube channel, it's your boy Mr. Guyana baby and I'm back again with another thought provoking episode but you know what, you just have to do me a favor, first of all like the video, hit the share button and also subscribe if you are new to the channel, like I said whatever is happening between Africa and China right now, there is only one thing that is missing, no not one, two things, transparency and what, mutual respect, I mean China should just apologize to Africa that what we did was wrong, but they were still trying to defend the situation. So, uh, the Guangzhou official today at the press conference responded to this issue by saying that Guangzhou treats all foreigners equally. For more of this, now let's take a listen. We treat all people equally, oppose any differentiated practices, and have zero tolerance for discriminatory words and actions. And after saying this in a press conference, this happens today. Okay. Oh my god, this is really I'm sorry, I cannot help you. Really. Oh my god. Rugo, this is John Warren. Rahone Jechi Bushi Renle. This is horrible. I mean, how can we even support this? This is not a matter about white, black, yellow. It's about humanity. You should have respect for humanity. This is. Very sad. God damn it. Even after evicting Africans from their hotels, evicting them from their homes, they still came out to say that that's a lie. And they even went to a stream of what? Paying an African to come and defend the lie. Who's been living in Guangzhou since 2007. He's now under quarantine in his own home. This is my fourth day in quarantine. If you want to buy some food or daily necessities, how will you do that? We order online. And then um, the community here, they have uh, the management, they have arranged someone, just inform them that uh, whatever I want to buy, and then they'll just go pick it from downstairs and bring it upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, also they would come in to collect my trash. This is very sad. I mean, self-hate among Africans is way too much. Even after him saying that, the whole foreign minister, I mean the Kenyan foreign minister, who is supposed to defend and protect its people, came out to say that. They did not want to have many people living together in one flat. So you're right about that. And so they were put in a situation where their instructions were which were interpreted as eviction which were really about social distancing because they wanted people to live individually and or the right number of people in each flat so you don't have too much crowding because you cannot deal with social distancing and you can't deal with the spread of COVID-19 when there's too many people living in one space. Because they wanted to observe social distancing and you believe this lie? It doesn't even make sense. Like, just go to China. Oh, no, don't let go to China. Just even in Africa, go to an apartment that is owned by Chinese people. You will see a single room with 10 Chinese living in there. And you said you were kicking people from their houses their hotels because you thought you wanted to observe what social distancing my goodness but i'm so glad that with all these lies there were some chinese people who observed the situation who observed what happened and then spoke about it happened yesterday our black friends they were all kicked out from their own apartments and communities because this mother knocked on their doors telling them that we have a few cases from Nigeria you know so now they're just assuming that all these black people they might be in touch with uh, the, the infected cases and all of a sudden they're just kicking everyone out and as long as they see you black they see you black you African okay they see you black and you're African you 
So all of a sudden they're just kicking everyone out and they have nowhere else to go because the hotels wouldn't take them as well and all of a sudden they're just homeless. They're just homeless. And yesterday there was this distribution. I was there. I was helping them. And these m****s showing up again and trying to stop us. Trying to. So they were asking me um, where I was from. I said I'm Chinese. And they were just like, oh, you're Chinese. Like, why, why are you on their side? You should be on our side. And that you should pick a side. And I'm just like, we are in this together, okay? We are in this together. And, and if you want to put them in quarantine, whatever, you give them food and water bed to sleep okay you just when some people are trying to help you just came and trying you are trying to stop us and i'm just like I and this particular message touched my heart 大家好今天想跟大家说一下我们现在面临的另外一种病毒就是歧视我们知道在疫情刚刚爆发的时候全世界各地一些无良媒体以及不明真相的群众开始无端的指责以及谴责中国当时中国是盛行了一个反对种族歧视的时期但是到了现在中国疫情基本控制住的时候很多疫情都是新增疫情都是境外输入病例所以现在全国又在盛行另外一种境外一种种族歧视我很多朋友告诉我他们在中国生